on this DIY segment. Now, we're looking at dogs today, all right? And, you know, you have dogs, right? And you're, you're wondering, I mean, is this dog, what breed is this dog? Um, even if you know the breed, is it the required class, required quality of breed? Is that, what, what, how do we classify? All these questions that come up, when you're even gonna buy a dog, how do you know you're even buying, you know, a good dog, a good breed of a dog, and so on and so forth. Maybe you're even buying a dog because you're thinking protection, and you're thinking security, but you want to buy some kind of dog that is not gonna perform, okay? But as a puppy, you may be able to tell. It seems very active and you're excited. Well, I'm speaking today to the Kennel Union of Ghana members I have with me, um, Kenneth Singer, who is a trainer and a member of the Union, Kennel Union of Ghana. I also have Pearl Ojiri, who is a member of the German Shepherd um, Club, as well as a Shih Tzu Club, and, um, and a member of the, um, uh, and she's also an architect, by the way, she's also an architect. And then we also have Kwame Asamoa, who is a member of the German Shepherd Club. All right, so let's have a conversation. Hello, lady and gentlemen. How are you? We are fine. Well. well, you feel you look like you're nervous. How are you? We are doing well. Right. 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 All right. So Good. now let's start talking about dog breeds first of all. What do you have here, Kwame? So this is a German Shepherd. We will classify it as a long coat German Shepherd. Okay. And this is, as you can see, a very well-bred dog. Mm -hmm. um, it originates from from Euro, from Germany, to, okay. to be specific. Okay. So this is your your German Shepherd. Okay. Now yes. when you say well-bred dog. Yes. What do you mean? I can prove the genetics of this dog. It's okay. a pedigree dog. There are documents on it. Okay. That go back four, five, six um, generations. Okay. I can take you way back to the 1950s, to the great grandparents and ancestors. Of this dog? Exactly. Wow. And you have documentation on all of that? To prove it, yes. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Let's talk to Kenneth here. Kenneth, yes. what do we have here? We have Who a, is she? This is Coco. Coco? Yes. Okay. Coco is what breed of dog? Coco is a Belgian Shepherd. Belgian Shepherd, Malinois. also known as Simply a Malinois. As Malinois. I love it. I love it. But that's why I, I must confess, one of my fascinations. Okay, I love dogs. I love big dogs. One of my fascinations is with this, and it's the first time I've seen a Malinois in real life. You know, but we're going to get into the conversation about Malinois a little bit in a, just a little bit. Let's talk to Pearl here. Pearl, who do we have here? We have um, Blueberry. Buddy, he's a pedigree Shih Tzu, and people normally ask, "Did you import him?" Mm. Uh, because, yeah, because his hair, feel like yes, his hair right? looks yeah. really good. Actually, he is a second generation born and born and bred in okay. in Ghana. His mother was born here, and she, uh, I bred um, him myself here. So he's a pedigree Shih Tzu. The pedigree, as Kwame explained earlier, mm. is basically documentation to date back yeah. to whatever generation you want. Also, let me just, um, to, the importance of a pedigree mm. is to know the kind of breed you are, you are the kind of uh, bloodline you are dealing with, okay. the faults in the bloodline, mm. whether the faults are desirable or not. Every pedigree, every pedigree dog, every dog mm. um, has a bit of faults, but okay. what kind of faults? Are they disqualification faults? Yeah. Are they, is that bloodline a line that breeds, um, um, mostly certain weaknesses, yeah, certain or, weaknesses yeah. or certain strengths. So yeah. that's what. So you'll be able to um, know what to what bloodline to go when you study the pedigree mm -hmm. and what combinations to do mm -hmm. when you are doing mm -hmm. um, breeding. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, um, Ken, I know that it, Malinois are used for well, majorly, I should say, for protection. And then also, um, you're doing a lot, you know a lot of security work, like airports. You're looking for sniffing for drugs. Yeah. Is Coco? ready for all those kinds of things yes coco is what we call a dual purpose dog okay and when we talk about dual purpose dog we're talking about a dog that can perform about two or three functions okay at a go. okay a dog that can do patrol work mm. a dog that can do sniffing or detection either drug or explosive okay so when we say a dog is a dual purpose mm. it means it's performing about two three functions coco can go on patrol arrest, defend, yeah. attack. Wow. Coco can just go search, sniff for explosive yeah. ammunition, and that's it. Are you serious? Very serious. Wow. But she looks very 
Unassuming. Yes, that is what we say. They are <laughs> dual purpose dogs. Okay. <laughs> when it is a single purpose dog, okay. you, you can see predict it. what you it can is. Tell. Okay. So when it is a single purpose dog, like yeah. a patrol yeah. dog, you see that kind of aggression yeah. in yes. him. So when he's even approaching you mm. to search you, you will not be comfortable. Okay. But you could see that she's just calm. Yes. Easy going. Yes. So when she's approaching you, you'll be fine. If supposing we are supposed to search whether you have an am arm or ammunition or with you. Yes. When she's approaching, you'll be fine. Okay. But when she detects it, yeah, and now you wants to defend, yeah. you will see that side of her when in the course oh, of the wow. program. She goes, she turns crazy. Like, she flips are you serious? into a different door. I can't wait to see that. You will see that. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I mean, let's talk about breed dogs and why you choose what breed. You know, people go and say, oh, I want a good dog. Yes. But a lot of the times there is no... Um, they don't have a, they don't have clarity in their mind as to why they are buying a certain puppy. Most dogs look the same size when they are puppies. Yes. So every dog was bred for a purpose. Mm. The Doberman, for instance, was bred for personal protection mm. by um, the, the, the gentleman called Doberman yes. in, in Germany. Yes. The German Shepherds were bred pre World War One to mm. be a soldier's dog, and therefore mm. it should be able to obey and yeah. listen okay. and work. Yeah. And the Shih Tzu is from a very old line. Okay. They're from China. It's centuries old. And these were royal dogs, so you yeah. can see that aptitude. Yeah. So if you want a family dog, you should understand the kind of mm. dog you're going in for yeah. as a pet. If you want a guard and a working dog, yeah. that is one right there. Okay. And if you want a family pet or a dog for your couch okay. and your lap and a companion, okay. That's the shit. All right, we don't have too much time. So, Ken, I want you to just do a quick demonstration of obedience for us to, for, so that we can see. Oh, okay. Yes. Focus. Yeah. Okay. Leg. Good. So, this one, yeah. I tell her to go into my leg. Okay. In between me. Yeah. I could walk with her in this position. Okay. Coco, heel. Stop. Sit. Stay. Stay. Speak. Wow. Enough. Coco. One. Stop. Sit. Okay. Down. Stay. Stay. So wow. in this case, I'm approaching a friend yeah. who is scared of dogs. Yeah. I could put her in that position and come and talk to you like the way you present. Okay. Me. This is. And she will stay there. Yes, yeah, she's there. Wow. So I could go around and come and she will, and there. She will stay. stay there. Good. So wow. I can now call her to come to me. Okay, let's Coco, see. Coco, come. Good. Wow. Good job. Now, I, I've often seen this thing and I've watched hundreds of videos yes. of dogs being used, Coco, here. Uh, um, um, you know, training dogs to attack. Yeah. Now, Sit. I want to try this. Now, a part of me is like, I'm crazy. A part of me too is like, I like action. I want to try it. Can, can we do something like that? Of course, she can't bite my arm. So if you, is there any way of demonstrating this? Yes, like I told you that yeah. she said, do a purpose yes. dog. Yes. So I can give you the hand sleeve please, just for please, your please safety. Please bring the hand sleeve. Just for your safety. Yes. And then like prep you as to how to get okay. her to okay. go on the right. right. Okay. So, so let's do that. Okay. okay. Let me talk to uh, Kwame whilst you're, whilst you're prepping that. Okay, Kwame. Yeah, so... No, so go ahead and prep it. No, now you have to go oh, so for I the have, sleeve. I have to go for the sleeve? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. So show me where the sleeve is. It's there. Okay, so guys, the question that I want us to... So maybe you can ask your question. Yes. And then when you are done, then you just pick okay. up the sleeve. Okay, so then, no, so the question is, um, as, as you do these trainings, yes. Yes. talk about the kind of um, union of Ghana. Now, she, she's, she's very alert right now. She has yep. seen this. Yep. Well, how do I wear it? Put it so through here? you put your hand Through in, here? Yep. Okay. She's clearly very excited. I can see her attention has come on me. Okay. So I should grip the thing inside, uh, uh, right? So can you hold? Okay. So I'll just get in. No, Coco, stop it. Stop. Say, stay. She's very, she's very excited. So let me okay. show you how we okay. wear that. Okay. So it's this way. So it should go on your other hand. You should go on my other arm, yes, right, rather. This is the left arm. Okay. So it so will be here that she will bite. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So even me, yeah. she can go on me. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you're gonna be like this. Yes. And, and then she will come for it. Yep. Okay. All right. So, guys, I'm doing this for real. You know. Coco, no. She has. Oh. Please hold it for me. All right. 
Up. So up. How much? Ready? How much? Uh, you, uh, she, is she, she's coming with force. Yes, she's okay. coming with force. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. For her not to go up on your, to go down and just bring it down. That's it. Okay. Good. Coco. Okay. Go get it. Good job. Good job. There we go. She is strong. My goodness. Okay. I like it. I like so it. Yeah. Growling? She's growling. Yeah, she's she's it. yeah. She's Good. not messing around. No. If this was if it was my Good. flesh, I'll be I'll be gone, man. She's torn into my my veins. Oh, I'm sweating. sweating. I'm sweating. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Good. All right. And you see what she does? She yeah. counter. And then she will, yeah. She counter. That's it. Okay. Good. You wanna struggle with her? Go. Go ahead. Struggle. Good. <laughs> Good. And she's not letting go. She won't let go. Wow. She won't let go. Ha! Ah, Ken, I think it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Coco. Up! Up! All right. Ha! Ah. No, enough. Okay. Up. Okay, so Good. talk to us about the Ghana Union of Ghana. <laughs> and um, can be, is it a club that people can join? How does it work? You know, and all of that. I'll start and then leave it to Pell. It's open yeah. to all and sundry and okay. everyone who loves dogs okay if you have a dog and even if you don't own a dog and you want to be a member of the kennel union you are invited okay you have several breed crab, uh, clubs from dobermans to rottweilers to shishis any breed that you have nice. there is a club for you to join okay. over to you pal um, so the kennel union of ghana as we indicated before um in our quest to join fci there mm. are some requirements that we have to meet no. One of those requirements is to organize a number of dog shows in every yeah. year. Okay. Um, we organized one last October, okay. and we are organizing a second one um, in December. The December show is for tomorrow, and okay. uh, tomorrow is for Kumase, uh, behind the Total Filling Station at Kenton Chrono. Okay. And then uh, Saturday is at um, Octagon. Um, Octagon, next to AMA? AMA. Yes, inside okay. the Octagon, inside the Octagon. And okay. building. And anybody can come. It's a confirmation show. The confirmation show um, basically means that it's we are the, the dogs are going to be judged. The dogs are going to be judged according to their confirmation to the breed standards. Okay. So the breed standards so we have breed has a standard. Yes, and we have um, in for lack of a better word, a bible okay. for all breed standards. Okay. And as I indicated before, every every dog has a fault, but there are some faults that can be overlooked yeah. and some faults that are dis disqualification faults. Okay. And before a dog, there are some dogs too that don't have pedigrees, mm. but they are purebred. Purebred mm. means the dog is in conformation with the dog, uh, with the breed standard, yeah. but does not have uh, a pedigree certificate. Okay. So you can bring your dog for assessment by an, an international judge, which would um, give you, who will give you a pedigree certificate. Okay. And uh, so you start from pedigree zero. Okay. So you start from there and then you build on. So as, as so if you if you're given that pedigree, for example, you can now breed your dog knowing that this is ah, the quality. Ah, yes. quality and and also what, what the show also does is to weed out ah, dogs that even have pedigree okay. but have ah, some genetic ah, issues oh, that are okay. discouraged for them okay. to be bred. Okay. So there are some dogs that come okay. that may, would have some genetic and every Every dog, every mm. breed has a dis disqualification fa a, a factor. Okay. A dis disqualification, disqualification factor for a German Shepherd would be different for a dis disqualification fa factor for um, Shih Tzu's. Yeah. For Shih Tzu's, generally, everything is acceptable, except for the temperament of if a dog is overly aggressive, which mm. it cuts across everywhere. It shouldn't be. A, a dog that is overly aggressive or yeah. overly shy is uh, okay. um, no, disqualified. No, no, no. Okay. Yes. Basically, but your dog should conform yeah. to the breed standard, the, okay. um, how the dogs look like, okay. and everything. Okay. So there, we are having an international judge who is FCI, AKC, a Canadian Kennel Union um, licensed to judge mm. the show. So he will judge the Kumasi and the Accra shows. The, the also at stake is the um, Octagon Black Star um, Cup, mm. which is. Uh, the first that we are doing, we are okay. introducing, and it's also a requirement for FCI. Mm. Mm. So that's what is at stake. So everybody is invited to come and watch. Super. We have about 80 dogs registered. We had a pre-registration. Wow. Okay. 80 dogs registered at um, Kumase, and yeah. about 150 dogs registered in um, 
Accra. Okay. So all the dogs are the dogs are in the breeds are in different um, breed breed groups. Okay. We have the heading dogs. We have the toy groups. We have we have different. There are about nine groups. So, so will blueberry fit in the toy group? Yes, blueberries in group nine. Okay. That's the toy. That's the toy. The toy okay. Uh, group. Okay. Um, the German Shepherds and the Malinois are in group one. Oh, that's the herding yes, group. That's okay. Herding group. Okay. Yes. okay. Let's talk about training. How do people reach out to you if you want their dogs trained? Because I hear that all the time. Oh, I have dogs, but they are so indisciplined. I need somebody to train them. You know, how do we. Yep. Um, I think before I come to the training, maybe I would like to add something similar sure, to what ahead. my sister has just said. Um, what we are doing on Saturday is that what it is is that every dog every breed of dogs yeah. were bred for a specific Purpose. function okay so okay. what it is is that they want to ensure that the dogs that we are having currently are actually performing the functions for which they were bred okay so what it is is that all these dogs will go through the breed standard mm. so that the judge will satisfy that these dogs are actually german shepherd yeah. like she talked about the fault a german shepherd is supposed to have a specific kind of teeth okay that enables them to do their Function. Function. Yeah. So if you have a German Shepherd that has an overbite or underbite, okay. it's a disqualification. Ah, okay. Because that dog cannot be a okay. good biter. Okay. So these are some of the things. Yeah. So they ensure that they install this to mm. maintain the standard. Okay. That is why we have this. Okay. So now when we come to training, yes. If we talk about training or who to reach out for yes. for a training, we have so many trainers in the system. I am one of them. And what it is is that when you are getting a dog, mm. one of the pre-requirements should be that you should be able to get in touch with the trainer. Okay. He can probably also advise, advise. you okay. as to what breed of dog you should yeah. get. Okay. Because people actually go in to buy dogs and they realize that this dog doesn't match it them doesn't, at all yeah. and it doesn't fit for the purpose for yeah. which they bought it. Yeah. So if you get a trainer, he would advise you, oh no, don't get this breed mm. because it won't fit for your purpose. Mm. Get that breed, that will fit for your purpose. Yeah. So one of the requirements, as a, somebody who wants to own a dog, mm. you actually need to have a trainer, mm. to have a conversation with the trainer and what you can do with the dog. Yeah. So if you tell the trainer what your needs are for getting the dog, mm. you might be getting the dog just for security. Yeah. That is your sole purpose, yeah. nothing else. Yeah. The trainer can advise you as to what breed you should get. Yeah. You might be getting the dog for companionship. Companionship, mm. the trainer will advise you as to what breed of dog you should get. So before you could, before you could actually decide mm. to go in for the dog, okay. and then you engage how the trainer to help you. How do you. people reach out to you? Can, uh, Kennel Union of Ghana, how do people reach out to Yes. Kennel Union of mm -hmm. Ghana, mm -hmm. go to our website, so we have Kennel Union of Ghana. Okay. Okay. And all the big clubs, you just add those GHs to the German Shepherd Club of Ghana. Okay. Of Google and the numbers and the it will come up. Okay, super. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. It's been fantastic. Well, if you missed any of this conversation here, kindly go over to our YouTube page. It's all there. You'll find it out. And um, let's take a look at our entertainment highlights. And Breakfast Daily will continue.